Hi, I'm Joni Patree, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about the month of July. And I say this so emphatically because this just might be one of the most important YouTubes I have done so far because I have so much important information to give you about what this month is going to be about. This is an amazing and important turning point. I want everyone to know that what astrologers are seeing is real and it's about to come down. So pay attention. This is extraordinarily valuable information. So talking about July, I want you to know that it's kind of divided up into two portions because around the first two weeks, there is going to be something so amazing that's going to lift the spirits of everyone. It's going to be like a celebration. And this is important for you to know that it won't last. Okay, so as always, if you want more details about this information, please go to my website and sign up for my free newsletter because I'm going to be telling you things in my newsletter that I'm not probably able to say here on YouTube. So go to galacticcenter.org, sign up for my free newsletter, and I want you to notice while you're there, I am doing some amazing new things this month of July. For one, I am starting my own magazine, Joni Patri's Astrology Insights. It will come out very first issue, July. And I have to tell you, each month in the magazine, we're going to be interviewing different famous astrologers. The very first issue, I will be interviewed and I give it my all. You will learn things about me that you didn't know for sure. Okay, so check it out. You can purchase it on my website, Joni Patri's Astrology Insights. First issue is in July, plus July 6th, the most auspicious day. I'm telling everyone, use that day to do something important. So what am I doing? I am starting semester one with the University of Vedic Astrology. If you have always wanted to learn Vedic Astrology, I have the most amazing answer. Check out my university. It is stellar. Become part of our community. Go to University of Vedic Astrology. Dot com. So now let's get on with what this month holds for us. Because as I was saying, all the way till about July 12th, there's going to be like so much that's happening that people are going to be very excited about. And let me tell you why I'm seeing this, because this is something very rare that is happening astrologically this month. So... From about July 2nd to the 12th, all of the planets will be in their own sign of rulership, except the sun. As a matter of fact, July 2nd, even the moon is going to be in Cancer, which Cancer rules is ruled by the moon. So here's the lineup we're going to have. And when this, this is a very rare event that all the planets are in their sign of rulership. And when it happens, it is powerful for the planets. It means that the planets can express their energy most easily and powerfully. So by July 2nd, we'll have Saturn in Aquarius, we'll have Jupiter in Pisces, Mars will be in Aries, Venus will be in Taurus, and Mercury will have just set foot into Gemini. This means all these personal planets are all powerful. Mercury about communications comes free and clean. Venus about expression and beauty and love comes free and clean and can express itself. Mars as the energy source 
is all powerful. Jupiter in its magnificence gives opportunities and Saturn, it rules both Aquarius and Capricorn becomes stronger. Now this is powerful, but there's going to be quite a turn of events. I believe once Saturn retrogrades back into the sign of Capricorn and this will occur July 12th. So we're going to have a shift in consciousness and the way people feel. Saturn going back into Capricorn means it's going back to finish up some old business. And let me remind everyone, Capricorn is the sign of government affairs around the world. There is going to be massive changes in the governments. Who's ruling? People will step down. Things are going to really, really become turbulent. And let me just say Mars in Aries is so powerful because Mars, all the qualities of Mars become enhanced. What is Mars rule? Once again, Mars is the planet that rules. I always just to help people understand with one word, it's the planet of war. Put Mars in Aries and it can become all powerful for energetically for everything Mars rules, but it does rule sports energy, but it rules weapons. It rules fire. It rules war, anger, and violence. And Mars is going to be going into Aries. Let me just say June 27th. So you're going to see a marked energy starting the end of June, June 27 till August 10th. Mars will be in Aries. And then we have another whole array of events, but let me continue on with just talking about the shift because let me just say the first few weeks of July, use this, use this time to promote anything you've been wanting to manifest because this is where the planets are going to give you the power to manifest any of your goals and aspirations. Use this time. This is a time that you can use the planets definitely for personal gains. And whatever you start will be extraordinarily prosperous. That's, that's a given. But come July 12th, now Saturn's been retrograde, but it's going to finally back up into Capricorn. And it will be in Capricorn from July 12th till January 17th. During this time, I see it being the biggest change. The second portion of this year, 2022, will be the most active change, transformation. And yes, it will be violent. I have to warn everyone and I will give you ways to deal with this because like everything, this is another big cycle that's happening, but it's one that you're going to want to be prepared for. You cannot take this information and baka at it. You'll regret it if you do. Okay. So this is important. Pay attention. Now, as we're talking about Saturn, going back into the sign of Capricorn. And while Jupiter is in the sign of Pisces, I have mentioned before the last time that they were in these signs at the same time, at the same time, Jupiter and Pisces and Saturn and Capricorn was 1963. And we all know 1963 was in a hugely pivotal year for the United States as we had the assassination of Kennedy. It was horrific. So this is another part of the cycle that could be coming. Now there's going to be, like I said, a celebration, something that's going to happen that's going to bring peace to the world. 
in the first part of July because of all these planets being so incredibly strong to produce good results. But there's always an opposing viewpoint. And this opposing viewpoint is what's going to take off in the second part of the month that's going to cause a huge event. So looking at this, governments, Saturn hasn't finished its job by being in Capricorn. It's going back and it's causing issues with all the governments and all the corruption that's been going on around the world. It's going to be surfacing big time with world leaders. Now, the biggest event I think this year is due to happen July 31st, August 1st. And this event is when we have Mars, Rahu, and Uranus all align on the same degree, 24 degrees of Aries. This is monumental. Now, many people think because it's on that day, July 31st and August 1st, that that's the only day things are going to happen. No, this is a buildup and things will be happening because of events that are happening around this time, around this time. So Looking at this conjunction, you know, as an astrologer, we always go back to see the last time that any such thing occurred in what it produced historically. And I went back to the very last time that we had Jupiter, I mean, not Jupiter, Rahu, Mars, and Uranus all conjunct around the same degree. And the last time it occurred was 1855. So going back and looking at any big events that could have been happening in 1855, I found something very, very interesting. And if you sign up for my newsletter, you're going to get more details with this. But I want to, I want to say that the most important thing I found happening at that time, it was called the contested election of 1855. Wow. So what this was the Kansas Nebraska Act and debate over whether Kansas would enter the union as a free or slave state. Turns out that March of 19 I mean so March of 1855 it was notorious for fraudulent voting and intimidation that took place at the polls. But just to make a long story short, I have more information about this. This was called the culmination of all the violence that came about because of this was called Bleeding Kansas. And they surmised at this point that this resulted, this was the beginning that attributed to the American Civil War. So I'm thinking, well, could this have anything to do with what people are talking about today, voter fraud? I, I don't know, but it seems very interesting that this was the same aspect that caused such an event before. And we have similar things coming up right now. Very interesting. We're going to see how this could possibly spike, be the ignition or the beginning of some type of civil war. And you know, I'm talking about the United States, but this is actually happening all over the world. All over the world, people are talking about their governments and their corruption and what we can do about it. And people are paralyzed because the powers that are at the core and the bottom of all of the world's corruption. These powers are extraordinarily powerful. And... They've been powerful, but here's a big interesting thing that's happening now that's different than many years ago. 
because of the internet, because of social media, stuff is surfacing about the truth and the reality of what has been going on, not just now, I'm not talking about just now, many, many, many years. This is, if I could say this big explosive event that I'm, I'm referring to is actually a purging of what has been building. So we can't ignore that this is going to be a period where something ignites and an explosive event will be happening. And by the way, all at the same time of this conjunction of Mars, Uranus and Rahu in Aries, we have Saturn squaring it all. Saturn will go back in September, October to 24 degrees of Capricorn while Uranus sits at 24 degrees of Aries. And this square has always indicated major explosive events, terrorism, violence, plane crashes, earthquakes. Yes, we're going to have many earthquakes coming up during this time. Mark my words, July through November earthquakes because there is so much anger on planet earth that is exploding and it makes the earth shake with human emotion. This is all revving up. And here is another thing that I think is important very important as a matter of fact mars is beginning to slow down to go retrograde and where whenever a planet goes retrograde it brings back something very very important mars is the trigger mars is energy so what's going to happen is mars is going to actually it's going to go retrograde from october 30th till january 12th that's how long it'll be retrograde. But within this cycle, it starts to really slow down in September. And that means it's going to bring out the energy of Mars. Now, as Mars is retrograde, it's going to be in the sign of Taurus. So Mars will be in Aries, remember, from January 27th through August 10th but it's going to go back into Taurus and it's going to be in Taurus actually from August 5th to October 15th, but then it's going to touch foot in Gemini briefly while it stations to go retrograde. Then it's going to return back into Taurus from uh, November 13th through March 12th. So basically Mars will be in the sign of Taurus for about six months. And Taurus is the energy that deals with the economy and money. So rest assured that all that is spiking in the early part of July is going to go downward with the economy and yes, the stock market. Now, let me tell you something else that's really interesting about the Vedas and the myths. Well, Mars is going to be in Taurus most of the time. And I know I said it has a lot to do with money, but it's going to be for most of the time or a lot of the time in the section of the sky where the Pleiades are. And the Pleiades is called the Weeping Sisters. And in Vedic thought, the Weeping Sisters were accused of adultery by their husbands, which wasn't true. So they were falsely accused of something and that is why they were weeping. They were, you know, they were put in a bad position and they were damned by their, their spouses. This is, this is a myth. Okay. But it's interesting that what will probably come out of this Mars as it retrogrades is something relative to something being falsely accused. Now this could be something global. So look at what's going on globally. People are being falsely accused of something with this. And the Pleiades is a very, 
very interesting and difficult portion of the sky. Mars will actually come to station at the time that it stations to go direct on in March. Now, actually not in March, it will be Mars will station uh, retrograde, it'll be January 12th that it stations. It's just going to remain in Taurus, even though it's going forward, back, forward, back. So um, while it is stationing in January, it will be almost a conjunct fixed star Aldebaran, which is the eye of the bull, and it's the red one. It's in Rohini, and it will oppose the fixed star in Scorpio, Antares. They are exactly opposed. Antares War and Aldebaran is a powerful red star. So you we're going to see all the way through March, things are occurring one thing after another. I can't tell you how huge this really is. So while Mars is retrograding in Taurus, it is going to really affect the economy. So we haven't seen the likes of what's to come. What do I think is going to be happening? It's going to be like a civil war around the world or pretty much a lot of violence and fighting. So most importantly with this message, I am giving you this message so you can prepare yourself accordingly. accordingly. Remember, this is like a weather forecast. We have to be prepared. So what can you do? Most importantly, well, protect your assets. Yes, I don't usually say this, but the stock market, we're due for a downward cycle for a while. Protect your assets, whatever they may be. And with that, since the stock market's gonna go down, stock market's gonna start going down when all the violence begins. And it will take a lot longer for it to come back this time. You could ride the wave. It will come back. Don't worry, that's not the end of the world. It will come back, but it might take about a year. You could just ride the wave, but you might want to put your money into something more stable. And furthermore, cryptocurrency is not the answer either at this time. So be prepared. Now, most of all, like I said, this is nothing but a big purging. It's like something, a volcano, it has to blow. But during this time, something better is going to come of it. I have to reassure you that this is what we have to go through. We have to go through the tunnel of fire to get to the other side and it's going to be a better world. But one thing I want you to know always is not to be consumed with fear because we're all going to survive this and it's going to be okay. I know you think, why is she being so adamant about this? Because here's the thing, during these times when people are so outraged and angry, it's time for us to spread the light. And what I mean by spreading the light is coming from a place of positive light, not be consumed with the dark and the negative and the hate. Be kind to people. This is the most important thing you can do. Be kind to people and know that we'll all get through this. This is a world of duality. There will always be the dark, the light, the good, the bad. Why do you think all the movies, uh, you know, childhood movies even, Hercules and uh, Superman? The light will always rise. The light will persevere and break through. But these forces are powerful. But the sway of balance is always swaying the scales of time and balance. It's way out of kilter. It will come back. We have to be focused on the good, the spiritual, and realize that this is all like a depiction of a movie. We have to be steady in our own spiritual lives and know that we are protected 
by going within and connecting to that divine spirit that is you and connected to everyone else in the world. This is the best way that you will get through this time. And you know, in reality, I have to say this, no one ever wins in a war. No one ever wins. But we will survive by being the light keepers and coming from a place of pure light. Breathe in that light daily and push it out to the world. It will make a difference. And re remember again and again, do not be consumed with fear. This will only destroy you if you let it. So don't let it. Be consumed with goodness and be attentive to your family. Come from a place of love and connection. Come together with like-minded people of spiritual sorts because you have to know you are connected in one with the divine. And by knowing that, I can promise you, you will be protected on all levels. So with that, I'd like to close. If you would like more information, always remember, go to my website, galacticcenter.org and sign up for my university. My university is universityofvedicastrology.com. We have an incredible community of like-minded people that will help you through this. And most of all, check out my brand new magazine. It's going to be amazing. And it'll give you something fun to do to divert your attention from the chaos. So with that, I'd like to close. Thank you for joining me.